it's cold down here tonight. So that good evening, matey. So, tonight, I've had this on the shelf for a while. I haven't got a clue where I bought it from. I think it was Audi. I'm sure it was Audi. So this is E.R. Emperor. Um, it's from Eden River Brew Company. I'm sure it was Audi. At Eden River Brew Company, we, de we demand the best, just like you. We make beer we are proud of. Beer Like Emperor, an authentic original recipe, English Pale Ale. We are good to you. <coughs> um, 4.6%, and that's really all it says. Like I say, I'm sure I got this from Audi. Yeah, I need to go on something dark next, or even back on, even back on bloody, um, on, um, <coughs> on craft beer even so yeah new one for me um i've had it up on the shelf for a while and i thought to myself let's just try something different nice bit of smoke out the top of there to be fair so good head <laughs> they are getting worse. Um, amber poor, white head. A little bit of bready on the nose, to be fair. Oh, so colourful little bottle. I've, to be honest, I've not heard of Eden River Brew Company. Good, cold. <laughs> it is cold. It's, it's not warm at the moment. Morrison's. Or is it Morrison's then? I thought I got it from Aldi. I've got two of them. I've got two from the same company. Um, put a pop out chat over here so I can see. No, it's not working. Bloody phone. There we go. That's it's working now. There we go, that's better. I can see what I'm talking about now. So yeah, amber pour, white head. Um, white head that's going down quite quickly. There's a hint, there's a subtle hint of citrus on the nose. There's certainly malt on the nose. Oh, it's got a nice, it's got a nice, um, Oh God, it's cold. It's got a nice taste to it, that's for sure. Obviously, very much a traditional um, IPA rather than craft, but you can tell by it because it's in a can. The percent is... It says it's Fuggles, Goldings and WGV Hops. I've not heard of WGV Ops before. Um, on the ABV side of things, I think it was 4.5. 4.6% ABV. There we go. So that's the last of it. And uh, yeah, it's been sat on that shelf for a while. And I thought I'd got it from my, uh, Audi, but obviously, oh, obviously I didn't. Whitbread. Goldings variety, ah, thank you. And uh, this is what I like because sometimes there's stuff you do, you know, we're, we're all beer drinkers and uh, there's stuff you just don't know. I'll gladly tell anybody that I don't fucking know. And uh, it's a nice traditional beer. It's a good pub beer. Straight away, a good traditional beer. That you'd expect to see in the pub for about three quid. Well, goodish. <laughs> about three quid a pint, something like that. You know, it's not craft, obviously. Is it? Ah. Is it Scottish? I thought it was Scottish, Eden River. Mm. 
No, I've not seen WGV before, to be fair. It doesn't ring a bell, let's put it that way. Wow, a homebrew beer before 10th of March. Then again, fair play, my prune juice wine is about a year and a half old now, and it's still got some nads on it. Whoa. Still take you to the toilet. And that's, that's being kind. I can't wait to start doing some own brewing. Penwith. All right, yo. It's not like, I, I, you know, I love the, welcome back, Craig. I love the um, beer review community because obviously people know more than you. You know, if you don't think people know more than you, then you are silly. You know, it, it is what it is. I know a lot of stuff about Nottingham because I fucking live here. But I don't know a lot of stuff about the rest of the UK, you know. So it's an education. And this, you know, looking at different breweries around the UK, someone's bound to know more than you do. And uh, your nads. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, drinking the beer is nice, but learning as well. It's, it's, it's good to learn. You've got 10 barrels down there. Ten barrels of beer in your cellar. From how long? Shit. No, I can't remember. I, I thought I brought it from Asda. Um, Asda. Audi, rather. But uh, ten barrels in your cellar. Hey, I'm not far away from you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now. When's the party? I only live in Nottingham. I'm not too far away. Yeah, I'm not touching. Well, one, I haven't got the spare pennies to touch any own brew at the moment. And two, the weather is just shit. You know, we need, in the daytime, you need anything up to 16 to 17 degrees to keep it all warm in the beer room. And at the moment, it's just, we're going from like, it was like 15 or 16. Today it was a high of 10, low of 1. And it's not warm enough. Yeah, Tad's house, definitely. 10 barrels. What's in the barrels? Well, he's not far away from Newark. I know that. <laughs> what, in the beer room? Yeah, I've got a radiator to be fair. I've took, I put it in the shed next door because it was it was warm. And like, you know, these last few days, it's freezing again. <clears throat> See, Trebor is great because his partner, his wife, wife, is it your wife or your girlfriend? I don't want to offend. But uh, she drinks the home brew too, which is amazing, you know. <laughs> yeah, pick me up and all. <laughs> but you know, it's um, I can't wait to get some brewing on the go. But the beer room is not that warm, and uh, yeah, I could do it. I, I suppose. At some stage, I have to treat myself to one of them belts. Two days leave this year. Shit. Although, to be honest, I've only had one day off so far this year as well. And that was because the fucking car got pranged. <clears throat> Be it my fault or not my fault. Three barrels for sale. I've got three barrels. Yeah. Yeah. Not for sale, though. Keep them for myself. That's a good price for three barrels. Plastic barrels.
That is a good price, you know, they're normally £20 each. I mean, our, our good friend Liam Rusko is not far away either. You know, he's, he's only in Mansfield. Yeah, to be fair, with 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 brewing, most of my stuff goes into bottles as well, because with bottles it lasts longer. In a barrel, you've got two weeks. Once you've cracked open that barrel, unless you're using these carb um, CO two, um, silver CO two things, um, it's very hard to keep you know keep it going. So you've only got two weeks to crack it keep it going but if you if you if you brew into bottles then you know it can last a year or two yeah i won't be surprised 100 plastic bottles bless you yeah i mean even on even on the likes of doing imperial stouts co2 uh, sorry bottles is better because you know, once you've put them all into one area, bottles is supreme because you can just keep necking the bottles whenever you feel like. I do plan to barrel age some beers, um, an imperial stout and a barley wine. But I might, I might barrel age them and then once I crack open the barrel and then um, bottle you know, everything up that I don't drink quickly. Right, that side's gone dead. What's an English brewery you really want to try that you haven't yet? Oh, it's a toughie, that is. You could ask every one of us here. Um, oh. I don't know, really. That's a tough question. You could ask that to everybody in the room and we'd all come out with different answers. Um, I mean, I had, I had a lovely Imperial Stout from um, Hamilton Brewery the other day and uh, I'd love to try more of their beers. So I suppose, yeah, then that would be one. Mm, plastic, plastic's uh, recyclable. It's, it's it's easy to go. I mean, I, I use a lot of pla we use a lot of plastic in this house because my son has cola, um, my wife has cola in different size bottles. So we use a lot of plastic in this house. And so for us, to recycle that plastic is good for the environment and uh, good for my pocket as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, why plastic over glass? Cheapness, I suppose, in a lot of ways. See, I've used, I've, I've bottled up uh, still ciders into plastic bottles, and I've bottled up obviously sparkly stuff into still into uh, plastic bottles. And um, for me, plastic wins all day. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if there's a taste issue at some stage. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I like to recycle a lot of my stuff. And one, being a type bugger. And two, you know, trying to save some money because obviously bottles cost, as you've seen there, 49 quid for 100 bottles. I mean, that's a lot of money for plastic bottles. Yes, you're going to reuse them, but still, it's a lot of money.
Yeah. That is the killer. I, I do agree, Bolton. That is the killer. Um, using smaller bottles is good because uh, 500 ml bottles, you can have one pint. Jobs are good. And if you don't want any more, But, um, I mean, it's like when you do a, <clears throat> when you homebrew a wine kit, uh, I try not to put the wine into anything bigger than a one litre bottle, simply because once I crack open that bottle, you've got to be drinking it, you know, and uh, anything above one litre is dangerous, you know, because <laughs> you keep drinking the bastard. <clears throat> 500 mils is pretty decent, yeah. I mean, I've kept all my 330ml uh, bottles from low-cost beer because of that same reason. That's a good, that's a good way as well, getting, you, getting your bottles that way, definitely. I always thought Daya were a Derbyshire brewery, being a day de and obviously it's not oh sad Also, you'll be reusing the McEwen's Champions then. Well, it's one way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah, can't fault you. Yeah, I think 500 mil and 750 mil are the, are the, uh, are the best size, if you can get them. Um, for me, when I'm own brewing, it's always one litre. Anything above one litre, I try not to, because... Once you've opened that bottle, you've got to drink it, you know, within a day or two at least. And uh, sometimes the same hour. But, uh, yeah, it's it, own brew. You know, you need to be, the smaller the size, the better, you know, in a lot of ways. Unless you're doing spirits, then you don't really matter because a 40% vodka is, is just as good as in a 500 as a one litre. So, bitey, citrusy, um, amber pour. Oh, and bloody hell, it's hitting home. I think it's only 4.6%. Was it 4.6? Oh, dear. Pissed up. Yeah, 4. Point, yeah, 4.6. I did read it right. Oh, it is freezing down here tonight. <clears throat> you know, that minute I get in the warm, I get in the bed, start to watch TV, two minutes later, it gets warm, fast asleep, woof. Then the bollocking tomorrow morning. Yeah, it fucking fell asleep too early last night, <clears throat> as usual. So, Amber Poor, I um, actually really enjoyed this English IPA. Um, is it the third third traditional beer of the night? And uh, it went down well, four point six percent. Feeling it to be fair, it tasted really nice as well. Uh, you know, it's been on the shelf a long while. And uh, I am getting to that stage where I'm looking at the beer shelves and I'm thinking, shit, oh, that's been on there far too long. And, uh, you know, keep having a stab at them. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Um, a good English IPA. For me, about a 4.1 out of 5. 
Um, very easy drinking. Right, I need to go for something smaller and probably something that's craft. Oh. Albeit not something that's not too strong because I'm already feeling it. Right. As always, thank you everyone for watching, commenting and subscribing and liking. And uh, back in two minutes for the last review. I've got about a ten minute window. Ten minutes. Before bollocking happens and, uh, you know, these things happen, don't they? Yeah, I can't be the only one, surely, you know. And uh, two minutes off. Cheers.